Hey kids, it's the Drive to School Podcast. I am Pastor Goodman and we are going to talk about some things that you might see in church this Sunday. This Sunday in church you might just maybe see a parable. A parable with Jesus being an awful farmer. Jesus is a terrible farmer. And if that's the first thing that you sort of recognize in the parable that Jesus is bad at his job, it actually might be pointing to the fact that we're missing the point. See, Jesus uh, talks about a man who goes and he throws a whole bunch of seed all over the place. Some of it falls on a path and is eaten by birds. Some of it falls among rocks and is uh, it, it is ch- withers and dies because it can't get moisture. Some of it falls among thorns and is choked out. And we come to see that uh, the, the seed that falls on the, the path path. It's where the devil comes and plucks the word of God out. Some of it where uh, the, the seed gets no no root. It's because we, we never actually take the time to learn the Bible. And so when trials and tribulations come along, we we fall from the faith. Some of it falls along the thorns where the, the cares and temptations and trials of this world choke out the faith. And in all of it, uh, Jesus is a terrible farmer because why not just throw the seed on the, the good soil? Why, why, why waste it on the places where it might not work. Um, Here's the problem with the parable. Uh, It's not the parable. It's you. You're the problem with the parable. Uh, You're the problem that is the rocky soil, and you're the problem that is the path, and you're the problem that is the thorns. You see, it's one of those little realities that we can't quite fathom is that every last one of us is attacked by the devil. Even Jesus couldn't avoid him. You're not going to be able to. Every last one of us has cares of this world, and quite frankly, every last one of us has some stuff to keep learning about uh, the, the word of God. If this is just a measurement of the soil, none of it should work. But we're not supposed to be looking at the soil. We're supposed to be looking at the seed. We're supposed to be looking at the sower. And so did you notice that of all the stuff that goes wrong in this parable of the sower, there's never anything wrong with the seed that is the word of God. It always works. There's stuff that'll come along to attack it, but only because it is so powerful. And the sower, well, he throws out this seed recklessly. Jesus does not save the word of God for the people who will make good choices because they hear it. He does not save his mercy for the people who will not fall back into sin. He does not save his salvation for those who can somehow find a way to avoid the devil and the world and their own sinful flesh. In fact, those are the very people that he he gives it to. We get so wrapped up in looking at the soil that more often than not, it's so heartbreaking that we really only end up looking at each other. We find the people who are constantly disappointing us, whose whose paths are just a, a little bit too rocky, who have suffered just a little too much, who show too many scars and bring too much baggage with them into church. We we know how much pain they have to be going through. And for them to call God loving, it just seems like a far fetch. because if I went through that, I'm not sure that I would. We know the people who have fallen into sin over and over and over again. Every single time you turn around, they are back there saying, I, a poor, miserable sinner, like the devil just won't leave them alone. We know who is just too wrapped up in other things. The people who didn't make it to church at all because they had a late night, because they have stuff to do, because, well, waffles are nice and so is a a cozy Sunday morning. And in all of it, we stop looking at Jesus. And that's that's real bad, y'all. You can't worry about the soil because Jesus doesn't worry about the soil. He just throws out his seed. And what is miraculous is that there are people who have been a assaulted by the devil who are still Christian. There are people who both have cares of this world and are Christian. There are people who are Christian yet could really use to learn some more. See, the seed is what makes Christians and God throws it where it has no right to be. He throws it among sinners. He throws it to you. And so instead of looking at what's wrong, look at what's right. Look at what's right, that you have a word of God that actually works. You have a Jesus who is only merciful to sinners. You have a God who has come down from the heavens, not to select a few, but to die for all. As we get closer and closer to Lent, one of the things that we get to kind of really come to terms with is the fact that we really need Jesus because we're not good soil on our own. We are not just ripe for something good to happen. We're a mess. So God, in his merciful love, is an awful farmer. He gives you grace whether or not you deserve it, whether or not it has any right to work. But what's miraculous is that you're here. You've heard Jesus, who was crucified for you, is risen. And you believe that. And that's salvation. So stop looking at the soil. Stop looking at what's wrong as a measurement of why things should fall apart in your life or anyone else's. Start looking at Jesus. Start hearing his word. And rejoice that it works.